Hello everybody and happy Saturday to you. I did want to give you a quick report on my wedding ceremony yesterday. I didn't shoot any video but I took a couple pictures just to show you how everything went down. Had a couple problems but I worked them out. I don't know what I shot for the reception. I'll look at that footage later and try to get a gig log up for you with a vlog. But first of all, let me talk about this Amazon Fire HD10 tablet that I decided to use for ceremony music. Now, there were a couple people out there who felt like this was just not going to work. Absolutely not. Indoor only, outdoor, you'll never see it. Well, I saw it fine. <laughs> and if you look at the picture, you'll notice that I was wearing a black shirt. That really helps, even when you're using a computer outside. If you're wearing dark clothing, it doesn't reflect on the screen as bad. And you're able to see your work a lot easier. I was in broad daylight. It turned out that I didn't have any coverage. And there was a reason for that. It was all set up where I was under something, but the power outlet under the thing that I was supposed to be under didn't work, and that was really close to the place where they were having the ceremony. So what I had to do was run about 60 feet of extension cord from the building, an out little outlet that I think was supposed to be for like a weed whacker or something, to the point where you can see me in the video, and I'm really not even near the ceremony. But there's good news, because that EV Evolve 50 array, the dispersion on it, was wonderful. And everyone heard me fine, all the way up front, probably across the lake. And it wasn't, like, ear-piercing loud. The other thing that was really cool was that JTS N164 mic system worked flawlessly from that distance. Not a problem. In fact, the efficient complemented the microphone. You don't know how many times I've given that uh, an efficient that microphone and they've actually complimented me on it you don't get that very often <laughs> compliments on the sound system like that so that microphone is a winner um also like the bespeckle mic stand the easy up and down he thought that was super cool but yeah the problems were that i had to take longer to do a flip with all that extension cord i had to deal with afterward so what I'm thinking is, I'd like to try to look into a battery-powered array system for events like this, because you never know what you're going to run into. You can call the hall ahead of time and say, hey, is there power? They can say yes. You can go to the hall and physically look and say, oh yeah, there's an outlet. But unless you test the outlet at the site inspection and are guaranteed the thing's going to work on the day you go there, you don't know what's going to happen, especially with these outdoor outlets. So... Yeah, maybe battery powered is the way to go for outdoor. Maybe that's the policy now. It's always battery powered. It makes for a really quick flip and you're guaranteed to have power. You don't have to worry about how clean the power is coming out of the wall or how long of an extension cord run you need to make. And it's not a safe thing to make these 100 plus long extension cord runs all the time. You don't know how clean the power is going to be. Now, you notice that this thing timed out right here. That's something that it did to me on the, at the ceremony as well, because what I did not do is think to turn off or adjust the timeout time on the tablet itself. I can go into settings and do this, I just neglected to do it. But as you can see, it wasn't a big deal to turn it back on and get it up and running again. Now regarding that JTS N164 microphone, I went into the reception hall and set up the reception system minus the microphone and half of the uh, EV system. When I did the flip, I had to bring all that stuff into the reception hall and hook it up. Unfortunately, it's kind of cumbersome. I think it would be easier if I not only had that battery powered array system, but if I also had a second GTS mic system. So I could have one for ceremony and one for reception. When I was done with ceremony, I pack everything up, done, put it away, and I go into the reception area and I've got a completely different system. Because for some reason, things get a little complicated when you set up half a system and then you have to go in and piece stuff in. There's an order to things. You guys know this as well as I do. Sometimes things don't go in quite as easily, um, you know, after the thought, after the fact. You got to kind of do it all at once for it to make sense if you know what I mean you feel me on this but yeah sometimes it's hard to just kind of add two things after the fact so 
If I had a dedicated microphone and a dedicated battery powered array for ceremonies, I think I'd be set. But the tablet works fine. So anyway, quick vlog on that. We'll try to get a gig log for the reception up later in a vlog. I don't think I took a lot of video, but I took some. And I'll show you what I got. So thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.